The stalled second special session of the Texas legislature continued Tuesday afternoon with one big question. How many more House Democrats who fled Austin to break quorum would return to the chamber? So my home county of Harris, we're missing 14 of 24. Dallas County, missing 11 of 14. Travis County, your viewers, zero for eight. So we need these people to come here and help shape the policies and represent their constituencies, and that's what we're trying to do. House Republican Caucus Chairman Jim Murphy is cautiously optimistic that the situation in the House could be changing. Democrat holdouts Joe Moody, Mary Gonzalez, and James Tellerico were in the chamber Monday. And earlier in the day, the state Supreme Court put the brakes on a ruling by a Travis County judge. It kept open the possibility of the House Speaker issuing civil arrest warrants against the holdout Democrats. I'm hoping no one has to be arrested. That would be the best of all worlds. They simply show up. Austin Democrat Celia Israel is among the House Democrats back from D.C., but she made it clear a trip to the Capitol isn't part of her plan. I'm not interested in, in helping this governor make quorum. In my phone interview, the representative said by staying out, controversial bills that she's against will continue to be held up. So every day that we're not on the House floor dealing with things like hurting trans athletes, is a good day. There are several critical budget and COVID funding issues on the governor's call, but without some type of compromise, those items will once again become casualties of the holdout. He made that move. That's on him. It was a huge mistake on his part to hold hold nonpartisan people hostage. So where do we go forward? Can we go forward? The governor has put us in, in a very difficult position.